No. <laughs> uh, that's how you get haunted. Yeah. I'm already haunted. <laughs> what are you talking about? True. <laughs> that was a very dramatic response. I'm already haunted. <laughs> All right, can All right. you fucking hear me? Yes, I can fucking hear you. All right, then, yeah. count it off. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Late. Late. He wasn't ready. <laughs> you wait. No! <laughs> what up? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Necro Electric. I'm your host, Sean Douglas Skellington. Douglas. Douglas. This is Douglas. my wife, Douglas. Kylie Douglas Gibson Skellington. <laughs> Dang, I feel like we're in trouble with the middle names. I know, right? <laughs> and this is Jordan Eduardo <laughs> Fernandez. I no, not even close. Do you know her middle name? We should guess it. Hold on. <laughs> Today we have a very special guest. David. That's my. He's a oh. <laughs> a death dealer. He's a casket transporter. He's a artiste of the dead. Mr. John Gotti. Hello. 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 If you guys are new to this show, how's it fucking going? Hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Tell us how your day went in the comments. Yeah. I'm really interested. I really am too. <laughs> or hey, you know what? You can answer the question of what, how long it was before your first time with your significant other. Like yes. we guessed the last and time. Yeah. Where, when and where. Jordan said like, was it date six or something? I think you were lying. I was not lying. <laughs> I, I wait. I waited. I waited. All right. <laughs> In the fashion of having fun, we're gonna keep that train a rolling. And I thought today, Choo-choo. instead of guessing, we could since we've already done who the hell are you? Because yeah. we know who the hell John is. We would do a fun story sharing game. Uh oh. I always How get about myself in trouble with this stuff. All of us share a story of the weirdest thing that you've walked in on. I don't have one. Oh. Bullshit. Everybody's don't. walked into something. I have not. Already? <gasps> Already. Any ghost. Take it's your ass home, man. Dang. It's because she was talking about hauntings. Well, you know. I repaired pretty quick, though. Oh, there we go. Um. I don't know. I think probably the weirdest thing I've ever walked in on was my dad naked. (laughs) And it was funny because... Did he have dad bush? I don't remember. (laughs) I just remember like walking in and my mom goes... Steven and like he like was coming out of the bathroom I guess and like he was just like in all dad glory and I was like oh my god how old were you I don't know I probably was about like six or seven so old enough to remember not old enough to really be like yeah you know you know like older people nudity like didn't really would phase me because like my all my uncles and everybody they were real like men's men or whatever you know they didn't really care and then my mom was like a single mom and she was always like in a rush so she'd be running around trying to get her clothes on all the time <laughs> so oh no my family's me. very very private like my mom bless her sweet little heart like she doesn't even like to like fart in front of people like she will excuse herself and she's Pardon like me? yeah like she she i mean there would be times that Does like your whole family get quiet she goes off into another room and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> no but we there have you. been there have been times where like we'll all be in the kitchen and she's like backed up against like at our old house she'd be backed up against the cabinet and we'd be like what are you doing and she was like i'm trying to fart in peace please leave me alone and we're always like mom just okay whatever she didn't like to talk like anytime we'd make jokes about like turds or poop or whatever she'd be like oh i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it so you know see it wasn't a normal thing to see my parents running around naked so sounds weird my word i've, I've had many walk-in weird experiences but the one that's like stuck with me the longest and I think I told this story like a long time ago, probably like mm-hmm. a year ago. You did. But, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like in um, probably fourth grade in Joe, Met- Joe Mitchell Elementary in Livermore, California. And I'll just say his first name when I get to it. <laughs> but uh, I had to piss and I got excused to go to the bathroom. And I walked into the bathroom and this kid, this kid Nathan was up on the fucking sink like squat position like he was gonna take a shit but 
he had his ass cheeks spread and he was looking into the mirror behind him. <laughs> oh my god! Like looking at his own asshole. And I walked in on it and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and then like we locked eyes and I was like, no. "Oh no!" Oh no! <laughs> and then I was like, "I was like, what the fuck?" And then I just turned around, didn't even take a piss, just went back to the class. And I didn't say shit about it, right? Because I was like, I, and I continued to be in school with this guy. This was like fourth oh. or fifth grade, all the way through middle school. That's so for awkward. like the next four years, we would always see each other. <laughs> and like, I think he was always worried that I was going to bring it up, but I never did. <laughs> and I just thought it was weird, but we always like had this weird like thing between us whenever I'd see him like in yeah. other oh, classes. Oh, I would have used shit. it against him. I would have been like, hey, dude you remember that thing? <laughs> and then he'd be I like, here, dude, he like just hands you money school. to get you to shut up. Yeah. Be like, here, here's 10 bucks, shut up. Be like, yes, thank you. It was just weird, because like, you know, I had seen like tons of violence in my life, like as yeah. a kid, I seen like tons of like <laughs> drug use, like all kinds of crazy shit, but I never saw like a private moment. <laughs> You know what I mean? Which sounds so well, weird. I mean, he's in a public bathroom. Yeah. Anyone can just walk in. Maybe he thought that since it was during class, nobody would need to go to the bathroom. I know. I don't know. That's so weird. Like the way it was set up was like you walk in and it was just a big open square. Oh, and man. Had the, the sinks and then the urinals and the stalls were on the other side of the room. So yeah. it was like right when I walked in, it was just like. <laughs> hello hello i wonder, I wonder hello. what happened that had him looking like i know. He sat in a no idea or something i mean i don't know how old you are there. in elementary school you're probably like probably like six or seven right not in fourth grade, fourth grade? in fourth grade you're probably 11 10 maybe yeah. oh you're that close yeah, yeah you're a lot older in maybe, fourth maybe grade it's the mystery of the booty itch yeah. it was the clean but it itch. itches <laughs> Yeah. I mean, on. I didn't really look Something at the mirror. All in, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> it took me like a few seconds to process like what was happening, and then he and then he locked eyes with me. Like he did his like the oh, slow turnaround. No. <laughs> I was like, oh no, uh, yeah. So that was my weirdest yeah. walking in moment. Huh. Okay. Well, mine isn't so much like funny or gross. It's like creepy, okay. oh. and it still haunts me. <gasps> Um, I can't remember why I needed to use your computer for something. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Get the edit button ready. <laughs> end, end the podcast oh, right now. On what's on your computer? Oh, no. There's nothing. You could look at my computer all day. Uh, all right. um, it's about that t-shirt design that had the uh, knife on it. And yeah. it said, um, I'm going to stab you. Yeah. So, like, I used to... So I have a clothing company called Dark and Jerry. Yeah. And like I used to stay up at night. He's wearing the zero fuck yes. shirt. And I used to design these logos all the time. And it's it's if you see my designs, they're always black and white. They're always very like grungy kind of grungy yeah. illustrated, you know, mm -hmm. and it's a very certain style to all of it. Right. And uh, I, I'm, I'm never one. I'm more for like an, an image and the logo mm -hmm. more yeah. than I am like putting like lettering or anything mm -hmm. other. you know that's yeah. that's probably one of the that's only the ones that, really. <laughs> that, that i do that right yeah it was an impulse buy I came straight <laughs> here from work. It was very dirty and uh one night I, I was staying up and i was working on um i think it was my um uh, franken stitches or something yeah right? and i fell asleep and then i woke up the next day and my photoshop had a a graphic of a knife, which I don't have. Yeah, it's of a like dagger. just a solid white knife. Yeah, which and I don't. Said have. I'm gonna stab you. Yeah, and it said I'm gonna stab you, right? And I laughed about it. I thought, I thought okay. he did it. He I thought, thought I did, did it. So I, was like, <laughs> I thought I passed out, and then she came because I didn't touch proficient it. Proficient in Photoshop, and then I thought she like made a little like thing, you know. And I was like, no. and I brought it up the next night. I was like, oh, what no, about I was the one who found it. Or oh, you found it? Yeah, remember? And I asked you. I was like, why did you do that? <laughs> uh, yeah. However it went, but like yeah. I thought that she had just done it just to fuck with me, and then well, that makes it even more creepy. It yeah. really you know, does. It's still on my computer to this day. It's on my, yeah. my old one. That's how you pass yeah. love notes. <laughs> it was Bane. <laughs> Bane did it. I should put this it was out before Bane too. Oh, really? Yeah. This was like five oh years ago, four years ago. Okay, and then never mind. Five years ago. Yeah, it was hella creepy and weird and. We, yeah. were, we we talked about it for like a day or two. We're, we're like, like, wait. 
<laughs> we keep waiting for like one of us to be like, no, I did it. Blah, yeah, blah. no, but, <laughs> it wasn't yeah. me. Uh, yeah, super creepy. And nobody else was living with you guys at no, the time. No, it's just us and our dogs. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> dog. It's the dogs. I'm gonna stab you. So I put it in a little folder, like a little haunted folder. <laughs> yeah, <you did. laughs> And I just left it there. Huh. Oh, a haunted yeah. boulder. Well, hmm. Just put it on a shirt for old time's sake. Yeah. I'd be wearing it like memories. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, John? What you got? I got quite a few, but uh, I wouldn't say it. I mean, they're not weird to me. I mean, it's just my the way I grew up. But you know, when I, my days in Houston, all mortuary friends were friends of mortuaries. Families grew up with families. And I guess mine would be the first pair of tits that i saw was on a dead chick oh no yeah what talk age? about young like riding your bike young so i couldn't even remember <laughs> probably yeah. eight nine we rode our bikes everywhere my parents yeah. really didn't care what we did as long as we were home before the street lights mm-hmm. so we rode all over houston and had this real good friend and his dad's a mortician or however you want to say him yeah and uh his it was his house and then it was a shed cooling area it was like a big trailer back in the day they really didn't do anything you know by the book i guess you could say his i want to say his was more like a doing it for the funeral home if they were backed up so we oh, always good. played out there hide and go seek all that good stuff and mm. yeah we weren't supposed to go on the trailer we went in the trailer oh, didn't no. think anything of it because we never saw anything but that was the first time and yeah in all Ooh, its glory was, was it like, before embalming or after i would i didn't know at that time oh, okay. i would think they, she was fresh off the yeah off the trailer, oh, I think. Oh man! Well, it's so, a good yeah. it's a good thing that you ha- you like have really good foundation because otherwise that could have like seriously fucked you up to be like <laughs> dead girl tits, <laughs> dead girl tits. <laughs> That's the only way I can get off now is yeah. dead girl tits. <laughs> yeah. I remember because me being told the story because you kind of black out when you kind of see those things because mm-hmm. you know you're in trouble now. Mm-hmm. And you saw it dead, you know, and then then yeah. you saw her naked, and you're like, oh. That's I'm even in, worse I'm in, now. Yeah, I'm in trouble, and how am I going to play this one off? Because yeah. the doors make so much noise. And oh. So William comes in. He's like, "Dude, my dad's going to kill you." I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I'd be all right. You know, whatever. We're playing a game. You know, trying to play it off. And, yeah. You know, you're you got to move stuff for the thing to swing wide open, and we're moving, and it's just all jiggling, and I just. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. it's, it's all out jiggling here, out of here. Because I, mean, I don't know how. The, the way it was set up, it was all ramped. So I yeah. opened the door and got in and everything kind of like shifted and came back. And you can't help but see what happened. And you look up. And it's, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah. But, oh, I'm living boy. dead tits. There anymore. I know he got in trouble. So <laughs> well, no big deal. Damn. Yep. Was the first time you saw it? tits <laughs> like fifth grade for me <laughs> i mean probably i don't know Not like your own tits but like somebody else's i would probably say maybe fifth or sixth grade when you started like changing in the girls locker room yeah. for like athletics or whatever uh-huh. And it's not like an intentional thing. It's not like you're like, ooh, let me see them titties. <laughs> you're just more like walking through and some girl just happens to be like, la, 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 just take it and you know, and you're like, okay, cool, thanks. Now I know you. We're best friends now. Like, it's awesome. So it's, you know. It's got to be better than like going to a gym when the guys fuck <laughs> around. I, I was just fixing to say that. I mean, I would think, you know, being a guy is probably cool that your girls get to do that but being dudes man you get all the boomers i don't know though because i uh i don't know how long ago this was but i was uh part of a gym and i was getting done with my workout and i went out into the i went into the locker room and there was this woman standing there and she was completely naked not not like had a shirt no pants or whatever like she was completely naked and it just threw me because i was like like oh okay like uh, all right you're (laughs) completely naked like not even like in a stall just right as you walk in there she is and i was like okay moving on now like i you know i don't have a problem with the female form i think it just kind of like threw me off because i had not expected to see a fully nude woman in this locker room i remember the first time i found out that nipples come in different colors and sizes (laughs) when (laughs) I went on vacation to Tahoe with my sister and my cousin and obviously mom and aunt. I think I was like, I was like probably 10. No, not our tits. (laughs) Shout out. (laughs) No, somebody we don't know. There was a locker room because we were swimming Mm -hmm. and this lady comes out 
and she had like black nipples that were probably like two inches long. I'm not. Wow. Kidding. And I was like, what? 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 Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All three of us, I think, just stopped and like stared baby at her. Baby finger nipples. She was like, um, and like turned around. Yeah, <laughs> baby yeah, finger nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Mushroom nipples. Oh God. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw a pair of those. <laughs> I, I told that story. I was with. I went to. I was dating a chick. I was oh, young. Yeah. I was in a van and we were going to Santa Cruz and her dad was driving. Mm-hmm. Her name was Marissa. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Shout I out. Sure she I was all the way in the back and her dad, I could see her dad like looking in the rear view all the time. <laughs> and then my friends were all in the other seats. Yeah. And then I was like, show me your tits. And then she showed me and then she had like, yeah, the baby finger nipples. <laughs> I was like, put them back. <laughs> put them back. So it doesn't weird you out to see, you know, like dong just swinging free if you were like in a locker no, room or something? Well, here's the thing. So like we, we went to this really cool gym in Livermore, but it had like a lot of old like boomers like yeah. in the locker room. I don't mind if if dudes like are like they're getting ready, they're jumping out of the shower and they're going to the locker and getting it handled. It's the old dudes that just stand completely nude and yeah. there'll be four or five of them and they're all just standing there talking to each other. Yeah. And you're With like, their legs up on the bench and they're just yeah, like all just hanging fucking, loose. And then like their pubes are all old and gray and like they're hanging down like Gandalf's fucking beard and shit, you know? And you're like, I what wish- the fuck, man? Put some fucking towels on, guys. I hope that I'm that <laughs> confident when I'm old. I hope that I'm just at the point where I'm like, tits are flying, you better cover your eyes. Like, I hope I'm that way. Hitting your knees and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a photographer, so I'm, I'm used to, yeah. I guess you could say I'm trained to just watch people's eyes. As I shoot both male and female naked. I mean, it's really nothing to me. Now, when it comes to editing, it's like, Shit, I missed that. So I saw it. Yeah. To like shadow cast something because there's a little more than what they needed to be. And then, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I'd say the worst is high school. Everybody's. Yeah. What was that? What? Is that the storm? I don't know. Did we lock the door? Yeah, we yeah, locked the, the door. Could just be next door, Jazzer okay. says. <laughs> All I can hear is John's breathing. (laughs) We've had the door shut and the light was turned off at one point. Yeah. So whatever, man. It's you guys that are haunted. It's you guys. Yeah. Yesterday that you saw the open sign was hanging down. Mm -hmm. Yesterday when I got here, all the lights were still off. My arms were full. So I went back here, set my stuff on the table right before I start walking back into the room. The, it sounded like there was an animal scratching on the door. Like, like when Nornor scratches on the wooden door, that's yeah. what it sounded like. And I was scared shitless. I didn't even move. I like, I was like, I locked the door. So, and I thought I heard the bell doing this. And I, nope. locked, I had locked Mm-mm. the door and then I went out there and the only thing wrong was the open sign was like that. Oh, hanging. Yeah. I'm like I've got haunted stuff. <laughs> the gargoyle, the skull. I'm yeah. The it. fucking so, dolls. Yeah. The dolls get me too. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was that? <laughs> I embrace it all. Look at it. Actually, I greet. Just I, I continue the thing. Yeah. I say hi to Helena, the gargoyle. Yeah. Well, good. 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 Don't that forget to do that. Keeps it at bay. Yeah. Good. Good. You know, so yeah. Love you, Helena. <laughs> it's just ready to strike. Three demon possessions with every exorcism. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Bush. <laughs> we got time for an ad. Bush. Yeah. Bush. This episode is brought to you by <laughs> Mod Ministry Merch. Mod Ministry Merch creates for the edgy woman, the kind of woman who works hard but plays much harder, who embraces femininity but tests the societal limits. We are not for the faint of heart. We are bold. We are beautiful. Check out Mod Ministry Etsy page for handmade lingerie. Five star rated seller since 2014. John just Ooh. took some amazing shots of Candace wearing yes. Mod Pentagram Hardest. Yes. Shout out. them here, please. Yes. Beautiful. Boom. So I am a happy customer. <laughs> happy customer. Happy Beautiful. customer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What have you been up to, man? Busy. Staying busy. I have a full-time job and doing dead things, slinging caskets. Yeah. So. Slinging, slinging caskets. caskets. Yeah. I like that. I got to make you a shirt like that. <laughs> there you go. That <laughs> works. Slinger. Slinger. Slinging <laughs> caskets. Are yeah. you uh, particularly busy because of a reason or just because people die? I mean, like, because of COVID, I mean, or is it just because oh, no, no, people I'm, die? I'm not in that field. No, no, no I meant yeah. like, like, you know, 
I guess I don't know what you do exactly. I'm sorry, John. You're my friend, and I don't know. I'm sorry. No, so I handle dead bodies. No, 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 no. I, my friends do that. No, I've got many friends in the mortuary business, and like everything, something falls off the truck. Not the bodies, the, the boxes, the caskets. Ca- caskets fall off the truck. They get dinked up. Yeah. People spend a lot of money on these boxes, and. Uh, over time, I'll acquire them, whether I buy them in bulk or they get donated, and I'll refurbish them, fix them up, and donate them to those in need yeah. that can't afford the funeral oh, okay. industry pricing. So that's what I do. I guess in my mind, I thought, oh, he's transporting dead bodies. No. Like, he's transporting them to, like, the grave site. That's no. what I thought. Oh, my God. How yeah, long no. have we been friends, John? A, year oh. now, a little over a year. Now that's I okay. know. He also, <laughs> he also overlooks the Lorena Cemetery. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. I knew that. I knew that part, and I knew the you know getting. You just happen to get dead parts, dead people parts, and animal parts, and so mm-hmm. you do stuff with that. But I guess I, in my mind, I was like, oh yeah, he trans he transports them too. Yeah. <laughs> no, so. I'd probably be uh, I'd probably be over the radar with that. You know, here I got a human <laughs> finger. Oh yeah. You'd- Who's, who's uh, cadaver would you pull that off? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good at separating the businesses so we don't get yeah. flagged. No. Yeah. Can't do that. No. How's the nightlife at the cemetery going? Nightlife has been interesting. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but he monitors the cameras and stuff. <laughs> I do have cameras. Oh, I didn't know that you had cameras. I thought you just went over there like during the day like to, to clean up or do whatever. But you I do that once a month. Yeah. But I've got 24 coverage and it sends me images to my phone and the Lorena life is, uh, it's interesting. And nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Anyway, continue on. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go too far into it because it is a profession, but uh, long story short, a lot of people using it as a hotel stay. Uh, we've had a few incidents out there. Yeah. So we're just kind of capping that. You're keeping saying that from happening. people as in like homeless people? No, as in kids oh, getting away from their parents oh, and cool. yeah, not banging sorry i just don't i that's not my first thought like even as a teenager i wouldn't have been like yeah let's go stay the night in the cemetery that'd be so fun <laughs> I <would. laughs> like i guess i wasn't that kind of goth kid like my i mean i snuck out plenty of times <laughs> sorry mom but i snuck out plenty of times but my thought wasn't like let's go to the cemetery i guess yeah. if i was a more of a creepy kid maybe that would be the case but i, I don't think know it's the school's fault because it's uh and forgive me, but you know, they were doing uh, history field trips there. Mm. So now they know that it's secluded. It's dead end. It's gotcha. way in the middle of nowhere. There's a hundred year old trees all the way around it. Mm. So it, over the years, you know, I've been going out there. I've got family out there and I've just seen it just kind of overgrow and just get a little worse and start picking up trash and yeah. drug trash and clothing and you're like wow well, we got a problem here so yeah, yeah they're trying to, to it out. these kids they're trying to be like mary shelley it's just you can't do it man you just can never be as cool as her i'm yeah. just sorry like you just you don't can't. want to get caught by me because yeah. i really well, embarrass them what <laughs> <laughs> so have you so have you caught some, some yes. people okay so See. what what did you do i mean did you just scare the shit out of them or were you just like hey you kids quit fucking over there <laughs> Uh, if anybody in the Lorena Cemetery Association sees this, I apologize. <laughs> uh, filling out my, uh, never mind. Uh, I uh, purposely bought some of those big KC lights to go like a ditch thing so I can mm-hmm. get up on them. Because you only have so many lights. But I try to let them, because I already know they're there. My camera tells them. Mm-hmm. You know, it tells me that they're there. Yeah. And I'll come and I'll purposely hit the far road so they've got time to get dressed and, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. But I'll come around, I'll hit those lights, and that's the funniest <laughs> thing because their their eyes just <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then I clear, you know, turn them off. I'm like, oh man, they're 14, 15 years old here. Oh, now, God. You know, and they get in trouble. And so no. I come around and like I said, it's it's real nice. It's hundred years old. There's a tree back there that's no lie, probably three, four hundred years old. It's mm-hmm. huge. And that's where they park in the back. But mm. my friend owns the property next door, but he's never there. So I'm like, hey, man, go over there and rattle some bushes, you know, get him out of there. <laughs> but the uh, last incident we had was actually during the day. So I had to mm. notify the During the office. day? Yeah, because we yeah. can't have that. We have people visit yeah. Yeah. every day. <laughs> all well, day. yeah. Some elderly people going to visit their, their loved ones. You can't have that. <laughs> no. so, you but see the no, van are rocking. I, I try to be cool about it. <laughs> But we all did it, but yeah. just not during the day and at a cemetery, I would say. Yeah, no. Oh, no. I see 
new YouTube channel. We dress yeah. we dress up in Michael Myers and Jason costumes. <laughs> we roll up, <laughs> come running, sprinting out of the van towards the cars and watch, film it as they oh. peel off. <laughs> just so get, much can happen. In all your time. videos are going to be of these kids like shitting themselves. Just you know, please don't kill me. Yeah. Please don't kill me. No, my favorite is is don't tell my mom. Oh <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to tell your mom, but your ass better be here next Sunday cleaning this place up. Okay, yeah. Okay. They never show up. Oh, of course Gosh. not. Of course not. <laughs> that would be amazing if they did, though. Like, yeah. I would be that kid that would show up because I'd be way too scared, one, that you would tell my mom, and two... Um, I don't want you to come find me later and be like, your kid was doing shit and they didn't come help me because I'd be like, I'd be there bright and early, be like, yes, sir, I'm here. I'll I'm here. just please don't tell my mom. Yeah. My mom used to hit the sauce all the time, and she would drive a uh, it was like a '82 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. It was a fucking tank. A boat. And uh, she took me to this church one time, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And she was hitting the Soco, and she was like, go ahead, we're going to teach you how to drive. And I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm just Sweet. like driving around this big parking lot. <laughs> and my mom like, no tank. <laughs> and my mom like didn't trust me or whatever. And I was, she was like, stop and, and back up. And then she, but she had her fucking leg like over, like, so she could try to hit the brake if she needed to. <laughs> what and, the hell? and then I'm trying to like back up and then she's like, you're going too fast. And then I'm like, shut up. And then that like pissed her off. And then she went to go step on the brake, but she stepped on the gas and we oh, lured no. it right into the fucking fence and like tore it down. <laughs> and then here comes a bunch of people out of the church. Like, oh my God, what's oh, happening? No, <laughs> you guys okay? No. And then my, my buzzed ass mom gets out. She's like, I was trying to teach him how to drive and he doesn't know how to drive. Oh, you know, and, and then they can smell her, right? Like all the, the booze oh, and shit. Oh my God. And uh, the guy's like, well, you know, like you destroyed our property. Like we're going to have to call the cops. And then my mom's like, don't call the fucking cops. He's a 15 year old kid or whatever. I'll have him out here rebuilding your fence. So for like three weekends, I had to go oh. out there. I, I didn't know how to rebuild a chain link fence. Yeah. But uh, she had to give them the money to buy the parts and then I had to sit there and fucking dig holes and you know oh, fucking God. this whole fucking thing it looked like shit when I was done <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. so that was your first community service ordeal yeah. nice oh, I think nice. that was my first community service <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think so <laughs> see how many uh... <laughs> I did have a couple <laughs> yeah i've never i've never done community service well that's not true really? i did it because i was in the national honor society oh so i had to do community okay. service for that <laughs> hey hey you know what there's nothing wrong with being a good kid at least in school okay like now i was a perfect i know i know <laughs> god i don't know what you gotta make up for all the good <laughs> i know and that's i i feel like maybe that's where I went wrong is in my mind I was like oh I don't get to do this shit this stuff that all my other friends are doing so I'm just gonna like go whole hog as soon as I get out of high school whole hog yeah whole yeah. hog and it just it came back to bite me so you know what it's okay do you guys ever play this game we do it all the time like when you're driving around or on a road trip you're like oh if I was homeless I'd live in that bush it was like no <laughs> yeah. like if you see like these sorry we play what <laughs> I say that shit all the time I don't recall you ever <laughs> saying that okay oh. but I used to say it all the time in San Jose if oh, I was the, homeless the oh because homeless. there's all homeless yeah people and they there. have I like to see all the little spots yeah, that you they did in San like, Jose. hold up in but graveyard never thought about it if you had a, like an isolated graveyard you could go like way in the back yeah and then It'd probably be a while before somebody found you. Don't do that. (laughs) Uh, Before I joined on to take care of the grounds, there was a lady living in a car in the far back corner where they put the dirt. Mm. Like, no graves there. It's like section seven and eight. It's all the way in the back. But we found out she was uh, involved in an accident on 35 and she was hiding out. So, oh, yeah. no. oh damn so we just yeah we're back there mowing it's like you all right the whole side of the car is dented in oh, all the airbags no. around she's just living in her car we're like <laughs> oh shit you're gonna you have like, to leave this is a little <laughs> <suspicious>. yeah <laughs> damn san jose is wild with the homeless because oh, we have God. like these ravines and then every once in a while they purge frisco and then they they all get on bart and go to like different areas but in san jose there's like these big ravines that you can see from the highway and then like during summer, like camps will just start and grow and grow and grow. Yeah. And then first like winter rains, they like release all the, 
you know, the water reservoir stuff. Oh, shit. It just, yeah, it just tears right that through all awful. these, like, <gasps> homeless things. That's awful. And then, they, then they spread into the neighborhoods, especially our neighborhood that we were living in. Well, I, uh, I think when I was driving to pick up my kids a couple weekends ago um, in Fort Worth, like, Right where all like the highways intersect and there's all the big. Mm -hmm. So they and I just noticed this. I drive through there all the time, but I just noticed that they like there's a homeless camp underneath one of the overpasses and it is big. Like it's not just a couple people. It is a camp of yeah. people. And I was like, was holy didn't shit. Did on your car or yep. throw something? I was going to let her finish. And I had a great story for you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll yeah, send you the footage off of my damn uh, dash cam. Dash cam. <laughs> so mad. What? No, no, I've got a letter to the city with all that and everything. It's it's worse than just that. So this is the day I took my son to meet up with my dad, and here in Waco. No, in in uh, excuse me, in uh, Austin. Austin. Thank oh, you. okay. Yeah, it starts in Round Rock. These people oh, are camping. I thirty five grass road. Okay, they are on the grass on I-35. Yeah. And they got some nice tents. I don't buy these kind of tents. So I'm kind of like, you know, shame on the city for giving them tents, you know. And I mean, they buy, they got their wood, their cases of water. It's crazy. They got more mm. water than I do. But we got into the city and we see just this black, just smoke, just barreling over everything. That was the homeless tent city living headquarters, whatever, burning up the whole thing. So we were there for that. Came around. I know that did million dollars worth of damage, or probably yeah. more. Yeah. Coming back around, they're camping on not the not the south side, just the north side. It's like they're split. It's almost like the city line. You can't be on this side, but you could be on this side. Yeah. And they're camping on the overpasses. So I'm coming home, and you know, everything's good. Just, just piss. You can immediately <laughs> smell it as it hit. And I was like, you know what? Oh. Hell no. So I pull over and I'm like, you know, how am I going to deal with this? Do I turn around, you know, beat everybody's ass up and down the thing? Or do, you, do I get stabbed <laughs> in the process? You know, you're really, really thinking about this. I'm like, yeah. you know, their governor gave them all this. They probably gave them guns too. So nah, I'll screw this. So I just kept going. So I got to the next stop. And I'm just, I'm boiling at this point. So yeah. I'm going to write yeah. a text and trying to find out who to call and you know, I get home and I think I worked all day on that. That's just messed up. Oh my God. So, I mean, but you, so you were stopped and somebody just came and like, Oh no, I was driving on I 35 coming home northbound and just, uh huh. <gasps> just off, back. The, off, the off the overpass. Off the oh overpass. my God. It could have been, it could have been a brick, could have been a log of wood. There's yeah. no telling what it could have been. It could have killed me and could have killed my son if he yeah. was with me. Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff that I wrote. I said, you know, Bag of piss, cool, whatever. You know, it just wipes off, whatever. But if it was anything else, because I've heard of people getting killed and people throwing rocks and concrete oh, yeah. stuff on the overpasses. Yeah. You know, that's, that's. I mean, I can go all day long on that, but that's a city's problem. They need to fix that. That's crazy. Yeah. I understand homeless, but they're allowing it. They need to do something better. That's my opinion. Well, you'd uh, think all the money that they dump into providing things like tents and supplies and everything, they'd put that more into, like, shelters or... I wish they would have worked for for low programs or something. Yeah, put them in hotels. They get free breakfast. Yeah, you know, give them that money. That, I mean, those are four or five hundred dollar tents. Yeah. I mean, give them that money. Jesus. If you yeah. feel that they need that tent, give them that money to start working, clean yeah. themselves up. No, nah, man, they make a hundred grand a year on the side of the road. Not all of them, but pretty sure that most of them do. Yeah. I mean, they got phones. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. They got haircuts. Yeah. Well, and I can tell you too. It's like when we where we're from. There's there's homeless. Uh, and, it, and not all of them are homeless, but there there are a lot of homeless, and there's a lot of uh, we used to laugh about it. Um, it's like donate to our mother's funeral where we lived in uh, East Side San Jose. There were it was this family, and there was probably four or five of them, and every week they were for there for like two years. Yeah, for like <laughs> almost two years, donate wow. to our mom's funeral. We're trying to bury our mom. We're trying to bury our mom <laughs> for two weekend. years. Everywhere, we're like, dude, there's nothing left to your mom at this point. Right. Sure your mom was out there doing it. Yeah. <laughs> or you'd have like, you know, like really fanatical, like religious people, like with these crazy signs screaming at the cars and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Now they're, they're starting to get creative. Yeah. But when, when we moved here, we noticed, wow, there's nobody like on every corner. Yeah. But we have been noticing like more the, and more. It's right? more, it's getting more and more um, frequent. I feel like you see more like in Belmede. 
Um, and for me, and this this might be very judgmental, and I, I don't mean to be, but my the very first thing that I look at whenever I see somebody homeless and they're asking for money or a blessing, I look at their shoes. Because if they're wearing nice kicks, like brand new nice kicks, I'm like... I can't, I don't feel right giving you money because Mm -hmm. I don't like. You got nicer shoes on than you. You can get nicer (laughs) shoes on than me. So what are you doing with that money? Like if, if, if you got money and you went to go buy yourself some new shoes because you had no shoes, that's one thing. But like if you have nice clothes and nice shoes and you have, you know, just nice stuff, but you don't want to work and you would just rather ask for money on the side of the road, like. Yeah, no, I don't know. Way. I look at their shoes and their clothes and their phone that they got in their phone. Yeah. There's, I'm, a, there's a lady on uh, over by the mall and she's cute. She's shaved up. Her head's shaved up. I mean, get a job. You know, come yeah. over here to the skeletons, put in an application. Right. Yeah. Well, there are dudes too that are like, uh, you know, just looking for work and then you're like, yo, you need a job. Like, nah, fuck it, man. Just give me five bucks. Yeah. And it's like, well, dude, oh. you want the- <laughs> yeah like i said they're getting creative yeah. yes. i i feel more inclined to give people um bottles of water or to give them you know little you know like the little travel like shave and mm-hmm. toothbrush stuff like i'm more uh i'm more willing to give that to a person yeah. than to give them money because i mean it's not for me to judge how they use that money but i feel like if you are looking for a blessing like somebody giving you food and water and something to clean yourself up with like that's would be better off, but no, I get that, but I don't even do that either. It, just, it becomes trash. I mean, I remember giving this homeless dude on six, uh, like the less leftover of my burger, you know, whatever. If you're hungry, you're hungry. But I travel that road every day, going to get parts, and it's the same damn thing sitting there. I finally pulled over and picked it all up, but it's yeah. my exact wrapper, fries, everything. Yeah. I was like, that's my I tried trash. Because in San Jose, I used to give the homeless, like, I, I'm the same way I observe if it's the same dude or they look really down on their luck or whatever after a while then I used to give them dollars two dollars three dollars yeah and then I remember one time I tried to give a guy I bought McDonald's and I tried to give him a burger he's like I don't want your fucking food oh yeah they do <laughs> see Waco's really good at somewhat sheltering them you yeah know, they, they've got food courts for them they've mm-hmm. got Caritas I mean everyone's welcome they got a uh, Salvation Army mm-hmm. Waco I feel is better than anybody else around here in, in texas with the homeless yeah they yeah just, i think they well, choose yeah. to be that way well it is like crazy that we will send billions of dollars overseas where if you just took 10 percent of what we donate to other countries mm-hmm. you could you could house all the homeless i agree <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't want to get political but i agree but yeah. i totally agree totally agree yeah, yeah but, nothing will beat the homeless guy jacking off in a pile of pigeons yeah so. he's the VIP, dude. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> all-time greatest homeless guy ever i, I don't know off, or not. <laughs> there's a woman in colleen she's still there and every time that we would go come home from work and go pick up adler there's this woman sitting on the corner and she's dirty and sunburnt and obviously very crazy. I mean, like talking to herself, yelling to nobody oh, no. kind of crazy. But like I noticed like over the months, she would just like, like her collection of stuff would grow. Okay. So she'd have like one backpack and then like a week later, she'd maybe have another backpack and then another backpack. And she just like, she started like having this nest of backpacks that she would just like <laughs> sit in. And like anytime that we like s- were right next to her at the stoplight, she'd always like be talking to us. And like one time I waved and she was just like, <laughs> like she did not expect me to, I don't know if she didn't expect me or if she thought I was someone else, but it just cracked me up. I was like, oh my God, oh, that is so funny. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, that octopus waved at me. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God. We got time for another ad. Yeah. This episode is also brought to you by Skeleton Curiosities. Skeleton Curiosities is the only curiosities and oddities shop in Waco, Texas, full of clothing, lingerie, accessories, oddities, and everyday curiosities. A spooky vibe 365. Visit us online at skeletoncuriosities.com. Boom. All right, it's getting towards the midnight hour here. You guys want to do some shout outs? Um, Shout out to... um, Shout out to the people that are going to be coming to tear down our wall tomorrow um jose and his crew i'm very excited for that to happen i'm very excited for all the stuff in my house to get done so we can get moved in and not Did it end up being a load-bearing wall or not yeah so they, they're gonna have to put an i-beam and i'm hoping that it like maybe takes a day and a half that'd be sweet 
Painting but party. Painting <laughs> party. Yay. But yeah. Um, I don't know. Thanks to Matt Savage and John for taking me over and out for dinner. Oh, yeah. I heard you guys had a hoot. A, a hoot? Yeah. Oh my god, you guys had a hoot, huh? Well, we went downtown when it was like way too fucking busy. Like, uh, I think like everything's reopening now. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, oh, yeah. Like, there's just flooding. Plus of fucking the weather's people. been gorgeous lately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So I know we hung out at coaches for a good hour. And I was like, <laughs> screw oh, this, let's go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was fun. And uh, thanks to everybody that's been supporting Monster Art Monday. I'm up to like. 600 people and followers on nice Facebook, so. that's awesome yeah. Yeah, that's Fantastic. pretty rad um shout out to rogue media network and izzy weaver because they are throwing a izzy beaver izzy weaver oh weaver. Izzy weaver. <laughs> i heard beaver busy beaver, <laughs> <Busy> beaver. <laughs> anyways they are throwing a drag show cabaret <gasps> yes i saw the that third I saw that. Yes, and Frank's in it too. Yay! Okay. Shout out. I'm so sad I'm going to miss it because I'm not going to be here. I'm, I'll be in California, but I'll have to go in your place. It becomes a monthly thing. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. A drag show in freaking Waco. Holy yes. shit, that's amazing. Yes, it's at, been a while. at Rogue Media Studio. That's some progress. Yes, I love for it. Sure. I'm here for it. I will be at every other one. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. And you'll be on the news on uh, oh, yeah. April something. April 8th? Yeah, April 8th. So check out Fox 44. No, March 31st. No, that's when you're filming oh, it. Oh, it airs on the 8th. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be on the news with Cassie and Keep Waco Beautiful um, promoting the metaphysical fair. Woo woo. Nice. So check out Living Local Fox 44. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, John? Of course, shout out to my beautiful wife who stayed at home today with our sick child. Aww. Sick, allergies, one of the two. Yeah. And then shout out to my kids for putting up with my shit the past few weeks. (laughs) (laughs) Go to bed. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Shout out to you guys. It's always a blast. Always a good time hanging out with y'all and everybody around. Oh, yeah. yeah. One other shout out is, uh, okay, so I went and got my first COVID vaccine today. And the woman who was who gave it to me, she saw my shirt. She was like, Oh, what is that shirt? And I was like, Oh, it's it's my podcast that I that I'm on. And she was like, Oh, okay. She was like the people these people look familiar. And I was like, Oh, yeah, they own a store, (laughs) Skeleton Curiosities. And she goes, Oh, yeah, I've seen them. I saw them on the news. Like this was all the way in Mejia, by the way, which is like 45 minutes. And she was like, Yeah, she was like, I saw them on the news. And I was like, yeah, those are my. The, I do the podcast with them. Those are those are my friends, and she's like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Damn it!" <laughs> You're like, and that's me right there. That's me. Oh, that's me. I'm on the podcast too. <laughs> 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 we need to do a new picture with her new hair color. Yeah. I know. Although I know. It changes every two weeks. So. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Sweet. All right. Till next time, guys. Bye. Later.